The Hopkinton Hillers girls basketball team captured the second seed in the Central Division II bracket. The Hillers started off their playoff run with a home game against TVL rival seven-seeded Medway on Friday, March 3rd. Julia Canastrari and Ivy Goglin each struck for 15 points. Goglin also pulled down 11 boards. Michaela Pucci also added 13 points as the Hillers took down Medway for the fourth time overall this season, 55 to 43. The next stop for the Hillers was Worcester State University to take on the six-seeded Marlboro Panthers in the sectional semifinals. The Hillers' defense shut Marlboro down early, and their great all-around play prevented the Panthers from ever really being a threat. The Hillers led 19-4 after the first quarter and led 30-10 at the half. The Hillers kept control in the second half, outscoring Marlboro 16-11 in the third quarter and 13-7 in the fourth. Julia Canistrari led the way offensively with 12 points. Michaela Pucci dropped 11, and Ivy Goglin struck for 10 in the 59-28 victory over the Marlboro Panthers. The Hillers advance to the Central Division II sectional championship and will take on TVL rival Medfield Saturday, March 11th, 5.15 p.m. at Worcester Polytechnic Institute. On Saturday, March 11th in the Central Division II sectional finals, the Hopkinton Hillers met up with TVL rival the Medfield Warriors at Worcester Polytechnic Institute. Both teams took one of the two meetings versus each other in the regular season. The Medfield Warriors took the first meeting at Hopkinton High School back on December 20th, 49 to 46. The Hopkinton Hillers took the second meeting, 64-33, on January 27th at Medfield High School. So who would take the third and most crucial meeting? The Hillers' offense struggled in the first. Medfield led 11-6 after the quarter. In the second, more struggles from the Hillers' offense. Ivy Goglin recorded all six of the Hillers' points in the quarter. Lauren Kasseri and Margaret McCarthy each knocked down a couple field goals for Medfield, who outscored Hopkinton in the second, 13-6, and led 24-12 at the half. In the third quarter, the Hillers' offense came alive. Regan Caveney knocked down a pair of threes, and Ivy Goglin struck for two more buckets as the Hillers outscored Medfield 15-13. The Hillers trailed 37-27 heading into the fourth quarter, and despite outscoring Medfield in the final eight minutes, the Hillers came up short. Medfield took the game 49-42. The Warriors will represent the Central in the Division II Final Four State Tournament.